Welcome to this helpful NetGeek Pro video on how to set up hosting with Bluehost and install WordPress so that you can begin your very own blog today. We're going to start from the home page of netgeekpro.com and we're going to navigate to Bluehost and lock in the deal of getting a free domain name by clicking either of these two banners or you can actually just click the link found in the description area of this video. So as you can see we've been taken to Bluehost, the deal has been locked in and we will in fact get that free domain name. Now at any stage that you have any questions you can click this live chat button at the very top of the page and you can speak directly to a Bluehost support agent where you can field your question. So we're going to begin by clicking the get started now big green button We've been taken to a page where we get to decide which plan we would like to have. Now, as you can see, there are three plans to choose from, Starter, Plus, and Business Pro. Now, the major difference between Starter and Plus is how many websites you plan on hosting. You only get one website when you choose the Starter plan. So if you plan on having more than one website or more than one blog, I would go ahead and select Plus as you're allowed unlimited numbers. You also get some other extras such as unlimited website space, unlimited email storage, and some more free marketing dollars. For the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and select the plus plan. But if Starter better suits your needs, go ahead and do that. So now we're taken to a page where we get to decide which domain name we want to use for our blog. If you already have a domain name purchased, you can go ahead and enter it in this box here on the right but if you want to have a new domain and use your free credit then go ahead and enter it here so I'm going to enter a name that I already know has been taken but I want to show you what happens if you select a name that somebody else is already using so we go ahead and click next and as you can see the domain name netgeekpro.com is not available for registration. Now what they will do is offer a couple of helpful alternatives such as netgeekproonline.com. If this was a, a domain that we wanted to use just go ahead and click it or if you didn't like any of the suggestions you could go ahead and type in a new domain name below. Let's go ahead and use their suggestion of netgeekproonline.com so we click it and we'll be taken to the sign up page. Now as you can see they have reserved our domain name choice so whatever name you choose that is available will be held for the sign up process. Next we're going to enter in our account information such as our name, our address and our contact information. After you've done that you'll be asked to define your package. First off, the account plan and what you will pay. So we already selected plus. Now as you can see, you will get a lower monthly price structure if you select for a longer period of time with Bluehost. So we're going to go ahead and lock in the lower price range and sign up for 36 months. Setup will be free. And of course, that domain name that we chose will also be free. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to deselect all of the other extras. We can add these back again at any stage, even after we have already set up. If you'd like further information on these extras, this information is available at netgeekpro.com. Then we're going to enter in our billing information. Enter in your credit card details or if you prefer to pay by PayPal you can simply click the more payment options link select pay with PayPal and then after you push the submit button you'll be taken off to a page to confirm your PayPal account for the purpose of this video we will be using a credit card after these details have been entered in you will be asked to agree that you have read the terms and conditions cancellation policy privacy statement, domain registration agreement, and registrant right and responsibilities. 
So go ahead and make sure that that box is selected to confirm that you agree with these policies and go ahead and push submit. Now I'm going to blank out the screen and fill out my personal information and push submit and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I successfully filled in my personal information and now I'm taken to the upgrades page before I complete the whole order. Now as I said, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to make it as simple as possible and we're not going to add any of the extras. But I will point out, you can add these again at any stage during your contract. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm just going to complete my order by clicking the complete button. And as you can see, our purchase was successful. So they've sent us an email to confirm this order. And as you can see, I've blanked out some of my personal information once again. Now we're going to go ahead and create our password. We do this by clicking the big blue button that says create your password. So we're now taken to another page. As you can see, we will in fact have to agree to the terms of service and the following policies once again. After you agree to them, click the little checkbox and that's all you need to do. Now, when creating a password, we want to make sure it adheres to the below rules, such as having a lowercase letter, an uppercase letter, a number, and a symbol, and of course, needs to be longer than eight characters long. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a password. As you can see, this was given as a good password. It scored higher than 50 points. I'm going to go ahead and retype the same password. If you don't can't actually think of one yourself, you can actually generate one and you'll be told what that password is. But I'm going to go ahead and create a password that I've chosen myself. So this is another chance for them to try and sell you another upgrade. Again, for the purpose of this video, we're trying to make it as simple as possible and just get you up and running with WordPress. So what we're going to do is just below, it says, no thanks, I'm not interested. And that's the button that we're going to click. So now we're taken to the control panel of your Bluehost account. The first time you log in, you'll be shown this welcome message. What we're going to do is go ahead and close it. Now, there are many options in here that we could go ahead and choose, such as changing our password, updating our information, and a whole host of other things, like setting up email. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and install WordPress. And it is incredibly easy. As you can see, in the website tab, there is a nice green button that says install WordPress. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click that button. Okay, so now we're taken to a page where we're just going to confirm what it is exactly we're getting. Now, at the bottom of the page, there's some options to have somebody do this for you. But the purpose of this video we're going to show you how to do this for yourself for free. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click install. This is going to be a fresh install of WordPress. Now, as you can see, the domain name that we chose has already been highlighted for us. If you had other domain names associated with this account, you'd be able to use this drop down and select them. We're going to go ahead, keep the domain that we've chosen, and we're going to hack push the big green button that says check domain. Okay, so as you can see we're almost there. If we click this button here that says show advanced options, it's going to give us an option to give a title to our WordPress website, our WordPress blog. So I'm going to go ahead and call it NetGeek Pro Online. just to be in keeping with the domain name itself. As you can see, it's going to 
ask you for a username which is going to be an email address and also a password now I'm going to blank out the screen and change this password just so nobody else can see it and then once we're happy with our password we go ahead and click the next chat box that says I have read the terms and conditions to read them you simply click the button and you'll be taken to a page so you can read them I've already done this so I'm going to go ahead select the chat box and I'm now going to push install now remember be sure to write down any of these credentials such as the password and also a note of which username you were using okay so it's going to again offer some other helpful extras we are going to not take advantage of any of these and just have a very simple install of WordPress so I'm going to click the no thanks I know what I'm doing now, as you can see at the very top of the page your install is underway and we see a progress bar you can pretty much ignore the rest of the page below as again this is another option to upsell you on um, some themes and some other options that you could add to your site okay so as you can see the install is complete if we want to view the credentials we can go ahead and click that button okay so as you can see we've now been brought to the notification center and the alert tells us your WordPress install is finished click here in the view button and as you can see it'll give you your credentials a URL to actually get to the domain itself and also another URL that will get you to the admin section where we'll be able to make some of the tweaks and changes to this site as you can see below again I have blanked out my username and my password just to protect so we're going to go ahead and click the URL link that will get us to the home page of this new WordPress install once we click it a new tab is open and we're greeted with a message that lets us know that this website is coming soon we're going to go ahead and click the admin login button this is going to take us to the admin login for your WordPress website at any stage that you want to get to your login for your WordPress just simply type in the domain name that you had purchased and then forward slash wp-login.php WP stands for WordPress so it's pretty easy to remember that's forward slash wp-login.php so for one last time I'm gonna black out my screen enter in my login credentials and do the final step needed to activate our WordPress install I'm going to click login and we've been taken to the dashboard area of our WordPress install now further instruction on how to set up your WordPress is available at netgeekpro.com but for the purpose of this video that concludes our installation and as you can see by navigating to the top left hand corner and hitting visit site our install of WordPress was successful thank you very much for watching and if you need any more help with setting up and customizing your WordPress please visit www.netgeekpro.com thank you